So you've shot an interview and your subject um, says too many uh, filler words or too many pauses in between thoughts and sentences. How do you fix that in post? Today, I show you. All right, let's listen to this intro. I'm Frankie Papalopoulos, and I'm uh, the president of the XYZ Widget Factory. So we can see where the issue is. Right about here. Now, what I like to do is look at the waveforms. Because one thing to listen to it over and over and over again, but just dial it in. Let's zoom in a little bit more on the waveform. This is where the error happens. I'm uh, the president of the XYZ widget. Okay, so just press the plus key on the keyboard to zoom in that on that part of the timeline. I'm uh, the president. I like to start where the, the correct part is. So hit C on the keyboard for cut. We'll cut it right there. So we know after this is fine. The president. Of okay. The now, where's the beginning of the mess up? Looking at it, it looks like this is a pause, like a, and then, uh, silence. Uh, so I'm going to put the cursor here on the timeline, and I'm going to press W on the keyboard. That will delete everything uh, all the way to the, the cut point. So everything for the rest of this clip will be gone. All right, let's listen to that. And I'm the president of the XYZ Widget Factory. All right, so not perfect. Let's listen to that one more time. Papalopoulos and I'm the president of the... So it seems like a little... Or something. It's just not perfect. Click right here on where the cut is. Control, Shift. Hold those two keys down or Command, Shift and, and press D. And you just added a constant power crossfade for audio. Now you don't want it that long because you're going to hear... Okay, here. I'll let you listen. Listen, I'm uh, the president of the X. You heard a little bit of some other word that I was saying here. I think the uh. So let's shorten this down to like three, four frames, so it's, it's very small. Papalopoulos and I'm the president of the X. You fudge it a little bit around here just so it sounds better. Papalopoulos and I'm the president of the XYZ Widget Factory. Pretty good. Now what we're having is a problem visually. If we want to keep this shot and not cut away, Listen, I'm the president. That jump cut is distracting. Check it out. Go to effects. Type in morph. Morph cut. I'm going to bring that over. Now, we don't want it to be this long. We want it to be like a, a three-frame transition. I'm just going to analyze it in the background. Give it a second. Depending on how fast your computer is, this will take uh, longer than mine or, or less time than mine. But it is a pretty power-hungry effect, so it may take a bit, even for just three frames. So let's watch that now. Palopolis and I'm the president of the XYZ Widget Factory. Come on, that's pretty cool. Let's watch this all the way through. Uh, listen for the cut and watch for the cut. I'm Frankie Papalopoulos, and I'm the president of the XYZ Widget Factory. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, what you do is, uh, you know, I'll throw a bottom third on here, and, you know, I'll, I usually slap on some kind of background music anyway, uh, especially in this case, this is just, I, I quickly shot this in the studio, so the, the reverb, the echo is pretty bad. Lopolis and I'm the president of the XYZ Widget Factory. We also need to get hair and makeup in for this, but that's another story. Okay, so that was a pretty, pretty easy one. Now, let's go to the second example I've got here. Zoom out a little bit, hit the minus key. Let's listen to this clip. Here at the XYZ Widget Factory, we produce uh, the best widgets um, anybody has ever seen. Um, they're just the best widgets. Oh my God, these widgets will out-widget everybody else's widget and put those widgets to shame. We get the idea. So let's zoom in here and start listening for these errors. Here at the XYZ Widget Factory, we produce... Uh, so that's the first uh, that waveform. See that right there? That's the uh. And from here, we're okay again. The best widgets... Okay, so C for cut. Produce... Uh, okay, go right to the beginning of the uh. If you need to, press plus to zoom in on it. There it is. So I'll press W. Zoom back out. Minus. XYZ Widget Factory, we produce the best widgets. Uh, okay. Okay, again, holding down Control-Shift-D. 
I zoom in, make sure that that transition is just about, you know, two to four, maybe six frames long. We produce the best widgets. Uh, we produce the best widgets. Okay, I like that. Um, any widgets, um, anybody has... Okay, so now there's, there's less of a pause here, so this is a little bit more difficult. Still no problem, again, when you zoom in on the waveforms. It's, um, anybody has... Okay, so... Um, anybody... Anybody... Okay. See for cut. Let's cut right there. After that, it's fine. Looking at the waveform, it looks like right here is the uh. Um, or the um. W. Widgets. Anybody has ever seen... Okay, again. Uh, I press V, and that goes back to the selection tool, so you're not running around with this, the, the cutting tool. So press V, goes back to selection. Click that cut. Control Shift D. Okay, less than that to about... There you go. I, I'm a big fan of about three. Three frames. Best widgets anybody has ever seen. Um, they're just... That's a pretty bad one. So here's the end of the, the word. Zoom out just a bit. Um, they're just the best widgets. Okay, so C. Let's cut that. We know it starts by here. W. Never seen. They're just the best widgets. That's a pretty good... That that almost doesn't need a transition. I always put it anyway, just to be safe. In case someone's listening on some high-powered headphones and might be able to pick up on it. I like to just you know, throw the cherry on top here. Buddy has ever seen. They're just the best... They're just the best widgets. Oh my god, these widgets will out-widget everybody else's widget. Okay, I want to take out the oh my god. Partly because I don't really like it, and second, uh, it's it's a little bit more difficult here. We're, we're transitioning immediately into a word. I'm not taking a breath. It just goes right into it. Oh my god, these widgets. Okay, zoom in here. These widgets. Ah, uh, these widgets. God, duh. These widgets. So I, I'm kind of looking at the waveform, trying to figure out what I'm saying here. God, duh. These widgets. Okay, cut. Now, after this, it should just say these widgets. These widgets. Okay. Let's, let's pause here. See, there's a little bit on this waveform. If you're really looking at it, there's something going on here. Maybe the tail end of a word or a breath. Let me listen. Widgets. Okay, so it's So we don't want to cut off the tss. It's going to sound unnatural. Right to here after the tss and before the pause. W. Zoom back out a little bit. Let's listen. Best widgets. These widgets will out-widget everybody. All right. There's an echo on the tail end of God. Again, hopefully you don't have an echo in yours. Control-Shift-D. It's uh, these widgets. It's uh, these widgets. Mm. Okay, here I might actually go one into it we're gonna have this crossfade happening um, but I still maybe am hearing the echo of the D so press Q right next to the W and that will take off everything before it everything before it on the clip zoom back out let's listen widgets these widgets will out Let me make this a little bit bigger widgets these widgets it's all about knowing the basics of how to do this and then just fudging it trial and error uh, based on the word based on the subject background noise things like that Best widgets these widgets will okay I, I feel comfortable with that I would put that even in a client thing um, and then obviously with background music it'll cover it up Best widgets these widgets will out widget everybody else okay I'm all right with that Let's zoom out is there anything else widget and put those widgets to shame now, there's a lot of cuts here. Depending on what's happening, you might be able to do a morph cut. If they're moving their hands a lot or they're, you know, shaking their head back and forth or something. The best yeah, see, I could probably do a morph cut there. The best widgets anybody has ever seen. They're just the best yeah, widgets. see here, my hand's up, and here it's they're not. Just... If I do a morph cut there, it's going to look weird as my hand fades out. So, you shot B-roll, right, <laughs> when you're at this interview. Even if you were just to shoot the guy thinking, or maybe like a close-up of his hands, or him adjusting his watch, or something that you can cut away to, um, that helps. The exterior of the building, in this case, is talking about widgets. So,
Let's slap uh, some B-roll of some widgets here. There you go. Maybe control D, do a cross dissolve in, cross dissolve out. Now let's let's check this whole part out here. With the B-roll over the cuts. So the cuts are happening. The audio crossfades are hiding the audio jumps, and the B-roll is covering the visual jumps. Here at the XYZ Widget Factory, we produce the best widgets anybody has ever seen. They're just the best widgets. These widgets will out-widget everybody else's widget and put those widgets to shame. Okay, if I hear the word widget again, I think, today, I'll, I'll die. Control D, maybe do a cross off between the two. They're just the best widgets. These widgets will out yeah, widget. Again, I, I'm not super happy with this one. These widgets will. These widgets will out. If I wasn't planning on using some kind of background music, I'd be a little bit nervous. I'd still be tweaking it and playing with it there. Um, but since I know in this situation I would be putting some kind of uh, track behind it, that helps to further cover the cut. So I hope that helped your project and maybe got you out of a jam. If you like this, make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this. Yeah, I started widgeting widgets back in uh, 1984, back when nobody else was widgeting widgets. At least not the way I was widgeting widgets. I think, I think, I think that's good.